God. Mm. We're back. Hallelujah. This mm. is royal priesthood, mm. a kingdom of kings and priests. That's who you are. Amen. Yeah, a child of God. Hallelujah. Amen. This is not a church. Like, oh no, I don't belong to that church, so I'm not gonna listen. No, it's the people of God being built up. We are all growing, learning the things of God, so we can grow. Amen. Amen. Great. Yeah, just just to add to that, when you say that it's not a church, does that mean because the understanding people ah! have of what a church is? Yeah, yeah. Is when people have come together. In a particular building, building yeah. that's not the de definition of the word church. Mm. The church is the body of Christ. The body of Christ. And all of us are, are a, a, a member one to another. So we all belong to the same body. Hallelujah. We have different functions. That's how we form the body of Christ. Yeah. So it doesn't matter where you meet. Mm. Anywhere you have at least two children of God gathering, that is a church. The body of Christ. Christ yeah. Hallelujah. So it doesn't have to be a, a thousand people before you can call it a church. Mm -hmm. Or do you have a building that you go into before you call it a church? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. The meaning of the word church is the body of Christ. The, body the of bride Christ. of Christ. So all of us together yeah. form the body of Christ. That's what the church is. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, we are still on the popular topic that we've been dealing with for mm -hmm. a while now. By the grace of God. The coming of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. The coming of the Lord Jesus. And this is so important for us as believers to know about how the Lord is going to come. How he will come to take his people. Amen. Amen. And uh, we've looked at the first coming. And the first coming was when the Lord was born. Mm -hmm. We've looked at the second coming. Hallelujah. That's when rapture will happen. Where the saints... And those who died in Christ will meet the Lord up in the air. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. They'll meet him up in the cloud. He's not going to come down to planet Earth. Hallelujah. And we've also established that without an end, there will be an, a beginning. Mm -hmm. So for a beginning to happen, there has to be an end. And there's different ways. It could be a rapture happening and that's the end of believers living, checking out of this world. Or uh, somebody dies in Christ. So they go sleep and wait for when they will come and meet the Lord in the air. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says the dead in Christ will rise first. And we all together will go meet the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. So today, um, Pastor Patience, my name. And this is Apostle Joseph, the Apostle Worshipper. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And it's question time. So. I'm going to be the one asking the questions, yeah, amen, some as well. and I will answer some as well, mm -hmm. amen, and Apostle Joseph will be the one answering the questions, amen, mm -hmm. amen, and today we're going to look at, over the week, this, I, I heard a song, that song was singing, a, a renowned uh, singer, and he was talking about uh, when the Lord comes, we're all going to meet him in the air, all eyes shall see him. All eyes shall see him. We're all going to meet him in the cloud. And I just want us, we've touched that before, but because it's going, it, this has been going on for a while and it's in all our songs and we sing them. The song is so good. Mm -hmm. I sang it and each time I was singing, I was like, oh no, but not, not, that's not the second coming. All mm -hmm. eyes are not going to see mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the, the brother keeps singing. Oh, we shall all go see, we shall all see him, all eyes shall see him, you know. And I was like, oh, this song is so good. I was singing it, but I knew, I knew the difference. Mm -hmm. You know, that was the third coming he was talking about, not the second coming, mm -hmm. yeah? Second coming is going to come like a thief in the night, mm -hmm. right? Like a thief in the night. And he'll come in the cloud and we who are believers will meet him up there. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to be looking at uh, what is the difference between the second and the third coming. The difference between the second and the third coming. Should believers say, well, well, it's all right. It's going to come second time. It's coming third time. So if I don't make second one, okay, mm -hmm. I'll make the third one. What is the difference? Apostle Jesus said, can you just... Tell us about that, the, the difference between the second and the third coming of the Lord. Yeah. 
Yeah, thank you for the opportunity to answer the questions and uh, we, we thank the Lord for his grace and mercy upon our lives. Amen. It is his word, it is his revelation mm. and he's just using us as vessels. Hallelujah. Um, you know, brethren, the topic of the, the last days you know, has been going for a while. Mm. You know, and um, we have heard different interpretations, different you know, teachings mm. on how the Lord's going to come back. Yeah. yeah? And from what we've heard before up until the the Holy Spirit opened our eyes to see the, the, the expanse of that aspect of this council, we only knew about the second coming. Mm. And therefore, it's been difficult for us to interpret scripture in that light accurately, because not all scriptures about the coming of the Lord speak of the second coming only. That's why it's been difficult for us to understand about is coming hmm. yeah. as uh, uh, Pastor Fashion was, was remarking in, in regard to that song uh, where it is mentioned that it's coming all I will see him yeah. but when we're talking about the second coming we are referring to the return of the Lord Jesus Christ after the ascension hmm. yeah. he hasn't come back yet so, it's coming back, meaning it's been here before. Mm. That's the first coming mm. when he was born in the flesh. Mm. Amen. Yeah. So, we recognize that Christ came, was born in the flesh. Mm. He completed the will of the Father as scriptures has, has informed us. Mm. And we have the experience of that, the manifestation of that word, because mm. we are regenerated, we are born again, we are in the mm. kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So, we have the proof, the tangible proof that Christ Jesus came in the flesh. Mm. He died, he suffered, accomplished the, the, the will of the Father by dying on the cross. Mm -hmm. After three days, he resurrected. And he was seen by more than 500 people. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. It showed proof of who he was. Mm -hmm. He was glorified after resurrection. He ascended with that same body that he resurrected with. Mm -hmm. So we are promised eternal life because Christ has gained it or earned it for us and he showed it tangibly so he's coming back because he went back to heaven he ascended but before descending before ascending he descended first Amen. Yeah. so the second coming is his return after the ascension Amen. and we have events uh, preceding that coming mm. yeah that scripture tells us mm. the first event was the coming of the mighty holy spirit Hallelujah. when he promised the disciples i will not leave you orphans mm. that was all of us yes but i'll pray and ask the father to send you the helper the, the spirit helper. of truth mm. the comforter the comforter yeah. when he comes he'll take what is mine and give unto and you and give unto you yeah. He'll teach you all truth. Hallelujah. He'll not speak of himself, mm. but whatsoever he is, that's what he'll give unto you. Glory to God. Yeah. So, we have the mighty Holy Spirit now. That event has happened. Amen. But the coming of the Lord, the Lord has not come back yet. Mm. The second time that he hasn't come back yet. Yeah. Another um, uh, important event is the witness of the, of the, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is essentially... Um, you know, encrusted in the gospel that we preach. We preach Christ Jesus mm. as he had com completed the, 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 the will of the Father as, as, a, uh, as a prerequisite mm. for our salvation. Yeah, so when we're preaching the gospel, we're preaching the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And we won't stop at that. We preach the death. We won't stop at that. And we'll preach the resurrection. And we won't stop at that. And we'll, we'll preach his coming. Amen. His return. Yes. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. And then we have the persecution of the church. Mm. Yeah. We have to understand this, version. It is an event. You are the child of God. You are open to persecution because of the name of Jesus upon you, because you stand for the faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to embrace that. It is your role to be reviled, to be insulted, to be called names mm -hmm. because you believe in Christ Jesus, because you express your faith in him. It invites trouble, naturally. Mm. Yeah. Now, another important event is the 
the advent of false prophets, mm. false apostles, false teachers, false Christs, they are all around us. We've seen a video clip of a supposedly Christ Jesus who has returned. Mm. <laughs> he was sitting comfortably in a, in a chair and being introduced to, to the congregation that the man that you sit there, he is not none other but Christ Jesus himself. Mm. We couldn't believe our ears. And so these are the events yes, before the second Yes, before the coming. second coming. Hallelujah, the events mm. before the before second, the second coming. coming. Yeah. And we are seeing them around. Mm. Meaning, the second coming is round the corner. Mm -hmm. It is that near. Don't let anybody lead you into this false reassurance, false hope. That the Lord Jesus Christ is not coming back in about any, until the next 15 or 20 or 30 years. That is diabolical and is damaging to one's faith. We don't know the time. Hence, the method of his coming is unannounced coming, unannounced, unannounced arrival. Like a thief, thief in, in the, the night. night. So he doesn't tell you mm -mm. when he's coming because a thief doesn't announce. So, okay, by the way, yeah, next month, the second of next month, mm. will be coming to break into your house. No. <laughs> they don't tell you that. Just show up. They just show up surprised yeah. because if you knew that they're coming, you'd be prepared for them. Mm. Yeah. So the Lord is borrowing that analogy, using that analogy to tell us how he's going to be coming back like a thief in the night, unannounced. Mm -hmm. But we are told of the, the, the parable of the virgins. Mm. So we need to use the approach that the, the, the wise five virgins used, mm. or the five wise virgins used, because they were alert. Yeah. Because they didn't know the time the bridegroom the was coming. Was coming yeah. But it was coming at night. Yeah. The Lord Jesus always gave that parable to us to emphasize that his, his coming is like a thief in, in the, the night. night. Nobody will know, nobody will see him, but the sound of the trumpet by the archangel is the alarm that will wake up those that are asleep, mm. they will be resurrected, spirit of his resurrection, and those who are alive together will be transformed and meet the Lord and in the air the and then go to heaven. Hallelujah. Nobody will see him. At the second coming, only those that are called to go with him that will see him, that will know him, that will hear him, because he's coming as a fifth of the night, as a surprise arrival, unannounced. He will not touch the ground, he will enter the earth's atmosphere, but he will be up in the air. Mm. He won't set foot on the ground, so it won't be a, a case of waiting for many airport somewhere. Mm. No. Mm -hmm. The world will not see him. Only the believers that are going with him. Mm. That's the second coming. Then the events preceding the mm. third coming will start. Mm. After the second coming, it is the reign of the Antichrist, mm -hmm. the beast from the sea. You have the dragon who is Satan himself. Then you have the beast from the sea, the so Antichrist. These are the events the event before, before the, the third, third coming. coming. So the second coming, the Lord would have come the second time. Mm -hmm. The saints would have met, met the Lord in the cloud. Mm -hmm. They would have gone to heaven. Then, yeah. So what's going to happen to those who are left behind? Left behind. So that's the event before, before the third, the coming. third coming. coming. Yeah. So after the second coming, so what the things are, there's quite a lot of things are happening. The paradise, which is the, the environment in the underworld where God's people are, are kept, resting, com being comforted before the resurrection. Mm. Yeah? And the second coming, it will be empty. There won't be anybody left in there. Mm. Because all the dead in Christ will, will rise. Right. It will be completely empty. But Hades, which is the opposite side, will still be, will be still filling up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because... Those who are not in Christ won't experience the first resurrection. They will experience the second resurrection, which mm. is the resurrection unto damnation, unto judgment mm. of the white throne that is part of the fifth coming. Okay. Well, obviously, we'll get to that again. Yeah. So, this is what's going to also happen during the second coming. But after the second coming has taken place, the saints have gone up mm. into heaven 
the Antichrist, the dragon, the Antichrist, mm -hmm. and the beast from the earth will then start their reign. Mm -hmm. And their reign, by calculation, because this is in the scriptures, will be ten and a half years. Mm -hmm. yeah. The dragon will reign for three and a half years, and will, that's Satan himself. The world will see him mm -hmm. in his dragonite, you know, regalia. beastly, re yeah, <laughs> re regalia. <laughs> He's ugly, really ugly, yeah. because of the evil that turned him into, into, into that. He wasn't ugly when he was created as, 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 as Lucifer, mm. when he was, it was pure and was perfect. Because of sin, he became ugly, yeah, a beast. Today, people think, yeah. uh, they say the world is evil, the world, the, the world is the, the devil's world, world and yeah. everything. But you haven't seen anything, you haven't yet, seen, no. anything yet. You stay till yeah. the third coming, coming, you see the devil you himself. You see the devil himself, and you know that really this guy is evil beyond mm -hmm. what you could have imagined. It's not going to be coming like a conny, no. showing real yeah. self. So, they'll run riots, they'll run rampage, mm -hmm. absolute carnage in the earth. He'll take his authority and power and then pass it to the Antichrist, who is the beast from the sea, the bearer of the mark 666, which is his name. Yeah. He'll also run riot, carnage for three and a half years, mm -hmm. and then he'll pass his authority and power and, and extra power to the beast from the earth, the beast, the beast from the bosomless pit, who is... They are, they are false prophet. He will carry out the bidding of the Antichrist. So the whole earth will worship the dragon and will worship the beast. So the beast with the Antichrist is the second in command in the kingdom of darkness. Satan is first, is the, 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 main, uh, the, 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 the main chief of the kingdom of darkness. Then it is the Antichrist. Then it is the beast from the, the bottomless beast pit. He's still in chain at the moment, so is the beast uh, from, uh, uh, from the sea, the Antichrist. People think uh, in the past this has been given as a, as a teaching, that the Antichrist will be a man who uh, uh, will probably rise from the Middle East and uh, who will be, he'll be the one who will come with a proposal that will work to strike peace between Israel and all the neighboring Arab nations. And uh, out of that success, he would, uh, he would use that success as, his, as, as a political leverage to then uh, uh, ensue his, his, his agenda. But the scripture does not propose that in any way. Mm. The Antichrist is not a human being. Mm. Is the beast from the sea. Is the bearer of the Mark 6.6. Six. Is not a man. Is a spiritual being. There are two... Uh, inscription, uh, inscription uh, uh, attributes that are given to the Antichrist, which I believe would have led to the understanding of the fact or to that supposition that the Antichrist will be a human being because he's referred to as a man of sin or a son of perdition. Mm -hmm. The only other person who has that attribute is Judas Iscariot. Yeah. Because he's got, he went to perdition, meaning he killed himself because he was doomed. He didn't, go to, he didn't go to paradise, he went to Hades. Because he had not repented. There was no way for him to repent because repentance was denied him because he's a son of perdition. Offense came by his hands. The Lord just said, offense must come, but woe to that man by whose hands that offense mm. you know, comes. Yeah. If war was to be declared to you, that's it. You are beyond uh, saving. So, before the third coming, the events that takes pl take place are orchestrated by Satan, who is the dragon, and by the Antichrist, who is the beast from the sea, the bearer of 666, the mark of his name, the code of his name, and their false prophets, the beast from the bottomless pit. They'll run riot on earth. It's going to be an unbearable experience for anyone left behind. For those who are followers of, of Jesus Christ our Lord, mm -hmm. they'll be denied all sorts of comfort. Mm -hmm. Because the, the requirement will be that time 
you will not be allowed to buy or sell except you bear the mark of the beast mm -hmm. or his name or his image on your right hand or your forehead. So once you have that mark on you, that's it. You're gone because you've sworn allegiance to them. You cannot switch from there and go to the Lord God. No, mm -hmm. it's too late. And if you reject them, they'll kill you. So there'll be a lot of martyrs. So if you miss the second coming, you have a chance to go the third time when the Lord, the Lord comes back for uh, comes back again, and the third coming. But the cost will be very high. Mm, very high. Very very high. Very high. Yeah. So there'll be those that have missed the second coming. Yeah. And there'll be those that would have given their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ because they've seen that no, you can't go with Satan. And they also would have realized nice. that the yeah. saints have, have gone. gone. Yeah, those people and used to preach the them. gospel, <laughs> they don't say anything anymore. What's going on? This person hasn't turned up to work for two months. Mm. That's unlike them. Yeah, they're in heaven then. Because those just because we know this world. Mm. So we'll leave it behind. Yeah. So another important thing we realize for the, the third coming in terms of the, the Lord's return, mm -hmm. it is still as a fifth in the night because it doesn't tell you when it's coming. When it's coming. But he reveals himself this time for the whole world to see him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So for the third coming, the events that we have, yeah. apart from the reign of um, the Antichrist, Antichrist and and the dragon, the dragon and, and the false prophet, there will be judgment on the inhabitants of the earth. The balls of judgment mm -hmm. by the seven angels. Yeah. And there also will be the preaching the last gospel or the everlasting gospel, the Lord will send three angels to do that. One to all the people of the, the, the earth that allegiance to to the kingdom of darkness, to Satan and, 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 and its beastly friends will amount to no to no result, no positive outcome because they are deceivers. Mm. And they also warn them that also tell them that the first they need to worship God. Worship God. Yeah. And those who will hear the gospel will be saved. Mm. Yeah. And then there will be the warning against uh, the reign of the dragon, Satan himself, and the beast. And also the warning of the destruction of the world system. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then there will be a sign in the heavens. The moon will turn into blood, meaning you take the color, the color crimson. Mm. The sun will be darkened. Remember, at this point, the sun is only uh, is one third is only is, is one third less of its of its capacity. Yeah, because when the the Lord had when the uh, the, the balls of judgment were being poured, one of the balls were poured on on the sun. Okay, the sun is not even fully functional because the Lord is really destroying. The, the world gradually and that sun that has got a bit of, a, a bit of, a, of light left in it will be darkened yeah. and the Lord will also pour a ball of judgment that will create, create darkness on the throne of the, of, the, of the dragon and the beast but that darkness is not just darkness in as dark as you see it there is obscurity no it comes with pain with torture with torment that they will, they, will, they will gnash at their teeth, yeah. including those that were following the beast. But they will curse the Lord God because they're beyond repentance. And then the Lord will come. This is when the whole world will see, they'll be mm. hiding. Yeah. And the, little, the Lord is doing this deliberately. You can see that because Satan and his dragonite, uh, the, Satan, the, 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 the dragon, 
and his business friends have been showing me some sort of powers that they have mm -hmm. to impress the world. So the Lord had to show them, that if you think what you've seen that is power, let me just give you a little taster mm -hmm. of what power looks like, because I am the author of it. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. The Lord has to compete with anyone. You can't compete with him. Mm -hmm. He's the source of life. But he's not shy about telling you who he is either. He's not boasting. He's giving you the evidence. That's different. You know, God doesn't need to be, he's not boastful, he's, he's humble. Mm -hmm. But he will tell you who he is. He's telling you, you know, giving you the evidence, the truth. I am more powerful than anyone you know. That is not something made up. It is true. Hallelujah. You know. So the third coming is about the Lord Jesus coming back, but there will be a sure demonstration of his power. Mm -hmm. The whole world will see that. Then he'll call his beloved with the same process. Hallelujah. Because paradise will, fill, will be filled up again mm -hmm. because there will be a lot of martyrs Amen. that have been killed because they did not want to take up the, the mark of the beast on themselves. So they'll be killed for their uh, allegiance to the Lord Jesus Christ, for being, for wanting to be, to, to remain believers. It will include the believers that, that missed the second coming. They'll definitely go the third on the third coming. There's no way a believer will miss the second no, coming like, or miss the third coming. No, no way. Whatever it takes. They will definitely go. Whatever it takes this time. Yeah. <laughs> but what we need to do, brethren, not to take that position. Oh, well, if I miss the second coming, I can go to the third, uh, third coming. Oh, you don't really want to do yeah. that. At the cost of your blood. It is really yeah. horrible. Absolutely. Absolutely horrible. Mm. Okay. And another important thing, I mean, I think that question might come up at some point. Another important mm. uh, aspect during that time, also, the Lord will also be uh, redeeming the 144,000. Remnant of Israel. Mm. So they are a special bunch that he has. He'll be taking them at the third coming as well. We have evidence to show. That. I mean, we've done the teachings before. We're then just doing the question chance just to, to give a lot of a nugget here and there yeah. uh, for, for people then to encourage you to go to the actual teaching so mm. that you, you get the full of a set of the, of the information in much more details. Here we're just giving you a summary uh, of, of what you, you need to know about. It is in, in a more chronological way, mm -hmm. in a systematic way, as it's presented to you, so, so you're able to, uh, to have the full grasp of, uh, of so the, at the mm -hmm. Amen. So at the third coming, mm -hmm. I know the purpose of the Lord coming on for the third time mm -hmm. is also to take the, the, the 144,000 which are the remnants of, 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 of Israel. Israel. Yeah. Two offense for each tribe. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. The Lord so is faithful. It is, yeah. I mean, for that one, because people have also misunderstood this in the past. Mm. Some people, I mean, even that uh, come the doctrine out of the same man, the only 144,000 people will go, go to, to heaven. heaven yeah. Completely. <laughs> you know, mm. but that's not, that's not what the Bible says. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, um, the scriptures for this got Revelation 7, chapter 7, verse 1 to 8. Okay. And, uh, and let's show that. Revelation 7. Yeah. From chapter 7, verse 1 to 8. Verse 1 to 8. Mm -hmm. After these things, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four wind of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, on the sea or, or any tree. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and the he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees, till we have sealed 
the seven the servants of our God on their forehead. And I had the number of these of those who were sealed, one hundred and forty four thousand of all the tribe of the children of Israel were sealed. sealed. Mm -hmm. Of the tribe of Judah. Okay. Of the tribe of Judah, mm -hmm. twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Reuben, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of God. Of God, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Asher, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Natale. Naphtali, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Zobulon, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Je Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. <coughs> Hallelujah. <coughs> These are the remnants of Israel. Amen. 12,000 12, mm -hmm. of each tribe yeah. Yeah. were sealed. Yeah. The only exception that is the trouble of Dan is not there, and we covered why we feel the trouble of Dan was missed out. Mm -hmm. Manasseh was, re re was used to replace Dan because Joseph is back in. Mm -hmm. Remember when the Lord had instituted. Um, the, the, the Mosaic Covenant, the Old Covenant, he took the Levi, the, the entire tribe of Levi to himself. But mm. what he did was, he split Joseph into two. So you have Ephraim and Manasseh mm. to make up the 12, because that number 12 is important. Yeah, yeah. he did. And here, the Lord has now reconvened Israel, because we are in a new covenant now. We don't need a Levitical priesthood. You can see why Levi is brought back in. Together with yeah, others. That's right. But then you don't have Dan in there. Manus is still be in there. Mm -hmm. Joseph is brought back in. As a tribe. The tribe. Of his yeah. own. But Manus is left there, the youngest, because Ephraim was the, the older. Mm -hmm. Older than the, oh, the eldest. Manus was the youngest. But Ephraim is in Joseph in it anyway. But Manus has been, you know, um, given. A recognition as a tribe. Manus is not a son of Jacob, he's a grandson of Jacob. Mm -hmm. But Dan was a son of Jacob, Dan is not there. But mm -hmm. if you look at the book of Judges, chapter 18, you see the story mm -hmm. of what the Danites did because they gave themselves over to other worshipping for the entire uh, uh, the, uh, you know, duration of, of, of the generation because they were still fighting to get an inheritance. When they got hold of the inheritance, they they went into idol worshipping. They stole somebody's uh, 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 gods they had made and took a young Levi that they, they found and, and turned him to their, 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 their priest to administer you know, that, that worship of um, uh, uh, idolatry okay. that they had uh, got them into. Yeah. So we reckon that is the reason why the Lord has had cut them off. Yeah. Because you hear the comments that is made about these 144,000 how special they are. Now in this scripture you can see that the earth was about to be hurt because there's one of the, the plates mm -hmm. uh, that the wind was to be restrained Strain. from blowing. Yeah. So they were not in heaven, they were on earth. That is not happening now. This is not going to happen before the second coming. Mm -hmm. It can't happen. It's not going to happen before the, third, the fourth coming. I have to say it's before the third coming. They were sealed. And then we'll look at another scripture in Revelation to, to show us when they were in heaven. So they could have gotten to heaven any other time but at the third coming. Yeah, yeah I just want to just say yeah. our God, our God is actually really faithful, mm. you know, for him to have sealed the remnant. Yeah. To ensure that they were not hurt. They mm. were not hurt mm. and they enriched the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But another thing that is also interesting is that he does not uh, redeem them in the second coming. Mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He does not redeem them in the second coming. Because they re reject the mm -hmm. Son of Man. No, they are the remnant of Israel. They are the remnant. Yeah. They are without fault before the, before the Lamb of God. But he does not redeem them in the second coming. 
he leaves them and comes back for them with the third coming. But there is a there is a more fundamental reason to that because the Lord would have during the second coming during the reign of the of of of, of, of the dragon and the, and, the, and the beasts, he sends the two witnesses, the olive tree that or the lamp stand, the two lamp lamp stand mm -hmm. that stand before the throne. These are uh, spiritual beings, but they are in human form, like us. Mm. But they're spiritual beings. He sends them down to contend with the reign of the, the beast. But they'll, they'll, be, they'll be killed. Because at that time, righteousness will be supported mm. by those two. And, and the children of God are being killed as martyrs because they don't want to take the back of the beast. Mm. Yeah. Or, or dying in hunger because they can't access the economies of the world. You, you won't be allowed to buy or sell. That means you can't participate in the economy except you have the mark of the beast or mm. his name or his image mm. on your forehead or on your, on, on your right hand. That is ownership. Yeah. If Satan places seal on you, it means he owns you. Mm -hmm. And that is a legal transaction. That's why... If one takes the mark, one cannot serve God anymore. Mm, can't be redeemed. Because that's it. That's it. You know, Satan has a claim has claimed you because you have transacted your, your soul to over to him. That's how dangerous it is. But the Lord seals this 144,000 and comes back for them when he redeems the, the body of Christ. Mm. Those that have died as martyrs, those had missed the second coming together at the third coming. Mm -hmm. But there is also the harvesting. After the preaching of the gospel, there is a harvesting as well. Like, like the, 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 the preaching of the Palestinian gospel by mm -hmm. the three angels. There is also another harvesting that, the Lord, that will happen that the angel will be sent out to redeem those would have given their life following the preaching of the gospel by the three angels. Amen. And then will be the forthcoming, mm. which is Armaged about Armageddon. Mm. So after the third coming, there won't be any believers left on earth or under the earth in paradise. Paradise will be completely empty. The earth will be completely empty of all the saints. Hallelujah. What a glorious time. Amen. <laughs> oh. So all of us in the, in the kingdom of God will be in heaven. Huh. I mean, you, me, your, your brother, your sister, you know in the Lord. Yeah. Noah, Jacob, Abraham, Moses, Nehemiah, Ezra, Daniel, all these guys. <laughs> oh, everyone. Hallelujah. Everyone will be in heaven. Glory, glory. See, it's incredible. Just, just imagine, you know, all these guys you 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 that you, you read about mm -hmm. how they served the Lord faithfully. Ezekiel, you get a chance to have a chat with them. Just ask them how you know they'll they'll be curious also to find out how you know how we how we we endure mm -hmm. our time. You know, the challenge that we had and and the challenge that they had. It's incredible, you know. Now we talk about the, the, the Bible tells us in the, the presence of the fullness of joy. Sometimes we don't actually quite mm. comprehend it. I don't think we really do. You know. You know so this is what hap that is actually happening um, before the, the third coming. So the comparison between the second and third, the coming, third coming is that the, third, the second coming, the Lord comes unannounced, unannounced. but... No one sees no him one except sees him. except those that are uh, listed to go with him. Mm. So the dead in Christ will resurrect every single one of them. Oh, oh. So paradise will be empty. empty. All the Noah, the, mm. they will all resurrect. All those who've gone to rest. Yeah, the Paul, the Peter, all of them. Paradise will be empty. empty. But the it, one that the Bible says yeah. when somebody dies, mm -hmm. he, they've gone, they're sleeping. That's right. They're sleeping. They've gone to rest. Mm. 
They are so actually we, resting. And we don't mourn like those who don't have hope. Who yeah. don't have hope. Mm. So even when we mourn when somebody has passed away, we also know that they've gone we'll to see them again. We'll see them again. again. Alive. That Alive. Is. Yeah. So for the on this life, obviously we won't see them. And that's why yeah, that's we are in pain. That's Absolutely. why we are that, you know, uh, distressed because mm. we miss their company yeah. in this life. Yeah. So we, we grieve. Yeah. But they're not gone forever. We'll see them again. We'll recognize them. Their features won't change. They will be more glorious, mm -hmm. of course, because we'll all be transformed into the full nature of God. Mm -hmm. We'll wear the body that Christ Jesus purchased for us, that immortal body, that incorruptible body. You can't kill it. You can't injure it. It doesn't feel... It doesn't fall sick, it doesn't cough, it doesn't sneeze. <laughs> yeah. If someone dies in an accident, I know we it was answered in our uh, in the main uh, uh, teaching on the coming of the Lord. Mm. Someone dies in an accident, and probably the body was deformed or something happened or they had stroke on. Mm. What kind of body are they gonna get? The same resurrection body. That's right. Yeah, but the, glorious the, body. But the, yeah, the main thing that we need to rec recognize is that your features won't change. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So what happens is is this: the Lord will reconstruct your body first, as it was that earthly body you had before. So the resurrection is so that you are you'll be fully bodied again. It doesn't matter where your pieces of your 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 your, your, your frame mm. may be. Even if it was in the, in the plane crash or something, the Lord knows where each one of them is. Mm -hmm. Is God? That's not beyond Him. Hallelujah. He'll gather all your pieces and put you back together. Mm. Yeah, and then transformation happens. Mm. So the same body that you died with, which went into the dust and disinte disintegrated, mm. the Lord God will reconstruct it. Just as he did with Lazarus. Amen. And the multitude that resurrected uh, with, with the book of uh, uh, the book of Matthew. Let's actually look at that scripture. It's one of the one of the best scriptures that talks about resurrection. Because these guys died a while. Okay. They did mm. not just die like after four days. No, they died a while. Mm. And the Lord had to resurrect them. Yeah. So, if we read for, as the chapter 27 in the book of Matthew, if you read from verse 52. Matthew. Can start from 51. Verse 51. Chapter 27. Actually, yeah, it would be better if you start from. Let's see. Yeah, from verse 50, so from verse 50. 50. Verse 50. Yeah. Okay. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the setting, the cutting of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. And the earth shook and the rock was split. Mm -hmm. The tomb also opened. And many bodies yeah. of the saints yeah. who had fallen asleep were re raised. Mm. And coming out of the tomb after his resurrection, they went they went into the holy city and appeared to many. Okay, stop there. Yeah. So it says, when the Lord Jesus Christ gave up his spirit, died on the cross. Mm. The temple veil, which is the second veil that mm -hmm. divided the holies of holies to the rest of the sanctuary, split from top to bottom, top meaning to bottom. open access to all Hallelujah. through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord God was never a hidden secret anymore. Mm -hmm. It was now open to all who Amen. came through Christ Jesus Glory because he made that way open. So he mm -hmm. says, I am the yeah. way, the truth, the and, truth the and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why you and I are in the kingdom of God because we came Hallelujah. through Christ. 
Now, this is what happens. There was an earthquake mm. after that. Mm. Yes. And then the rocks were split. Back then, uh, tombs were, were, was, mm. were, were, were locked with, with, with rocks, rocks to prevent, yeah. you know, um, order from coming through. So, you know, that it was it's, it's tightly huge. sealed. Mm. Remember when the Lord had to resurrect uh, uh, Lazarus, he said to... Mm. To move, move the stone, the move the, 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 the remove the, the rock. That's the same idea there. So when the rocks split, they split to to to, to make to give an opening, mm. because if you are resurrecting in a grave, you can't get out. Yeah, you might die down. again of suffocation. Yeah. <laughs> you see. Yeah. So yeah. the first thing that happened, the rocks were split to give that opening. Amen. Yeah. And the graves were opened mm. yeah. and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Yeah. But there's an important spiritual truth in there as mm. well. It's an, one, of the, one of the most, you know, of, uh, scriptures that I, that I really love the most, you know. About resurrection. Hallelujah. Yeah. So that means those bodies, wherever they had died, obviously they were buried there, okay, they were put back into shape again. They were rebuilt Amen. and brought back to life. They did not leave the grave because they were given an instruction mm. not to leave the grave because the Bible says. And coming out of the graves after his resurrection, I mean, after the Lord had resurrected. Because the spiritual truth is this, Christ Jesus, our Lord, is our firstborn, mm. is our first fruit, is our pace setter. He does everything first mm. before we do. Mm. So no one would have resurrected out of the tomb before him because he had to do it first. Mm. That's why they stayed in there. Until the Lord Jesus Christ had resurrected and came out of the tomb, then they also came out. Amen. But what is also important is that they went to Jerusalem and showed themselves to many and people recognized them. That tells me that these people were of the same generation. Mm. For them to be recognized, mm. they must have been from the same generation. Mm. Yeah. Apart from the proof of resurrection of Lazarus, the Lord provided this one as well. Hallelujah. Because this is how God works. If he tells you I am the resurrection, he needs to give you the evidence mm. for you to show to see that. So he said to Martha, your brother will live. Do you believe this? Yeah, yeah, no, you will you'll live. And the resurrection of the justice. No, no, no. I, I told you I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection and life. Mm. Oh. I make people alive. I bring them back to life. Mm. I give them life. Mm. I make them well again. I make I make them walk. I cure diseases. Amen. So when we have the name of Jesus, people will be using it as a swear name, as a swear word, taking it for granted, everything, making it in the Lord. You're devaluing that name. When you need to use it in authority, it won't work. Because the enemy can't respect you if you disrespect the name of the Lord Jesus. It won't work for you. If you don't show respect to that name, it means you are not uh, um, abiding under the, the, the authority of the name, meaning the person himself. You're not fearing it. You're not fearing the name of the Lord. The Lord said to, to, to that person, I'll look, look unto that person who fears my name. Is that the Son of Righteousness shall rise with healing on its wings, on its wings. If you fear the name of the Lord, you are showing reverence to Him. You can use the authority of that name against the kingdom of darkness. They have no choice but to obey whatever you say because you are acting under the direction of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But if you do not respect the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm really 
when you need to use it, it won't work for you. If you're teaching false doctrine, trying to trick his people to steal money from them, you can't use his name in authority. It won't work because you are crucifying him every time. You bring his name into disrepute and you think they can use his name and work. It won't work. That's why you see all these guys are resorting to trickery mm. and going to satanic powers to try and perform mm. some miracles because they can't use the name of the Lord Jesus yeah. and, and see, see the result because they don't obey him. They don't perform his will. They're not under his mighty hand. They can't resist the devil because they don't fear him. Satan can't flee from them. That's why they have to they have to sign pact with them to, to get some those stupid powers that the Lord refers to as the supposedly secret art. Hmm. Because they pay some sort of powers. They're using things that God has created to make things happen. They can't come up with anything of their own. They have to use grass, use these animals, use this, use that, mix it together and in, in, invoke, you know, something and things happen. All things that God created. Yeah. yeah. Satan can't create anything. Mm -hmm. He lacks the capacity to create. Because he's not God. Oh. But this is what the, the kingdom business is all about. The demonstration the power, the power of the Holy Spirit Amen. when the name of Jesus is mentioned. Oh, thank you, Lord. The same spirit that mm. brought Christ Jesus from the dead oh, lives in you. Mm. You walk around with the source of the resurrection power mm. in, your, in your body mm. because he's made your body his temple. Hallelujah. This is what we are talking about, brethren. It's not a joke. It's not a hallelujah anyway business. No. It's just about life. The life of Christ. That same Christ Jesus that we were called on, who is our head, we are, who is the source of our lives, who is the fountain of living water, who says to the Samaritan woman, the water that I have, if I give you that water, mm. you will never you thirst will never again. You will never thirst again if you drink of it. He has brought us mm. to that water. Amen. Amen. So the Holy Spirit keeps giving us, you know, buckets full a day to drink from. Some of us are just holding on to the teaspoon when he's thinking, look, I've got a bucket here to give you. You are coming the teaspoon. What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to take much. Mm -hmm. We're just wanting the, the crumbs. Because we hear, oh, that man, oh, that woman, oh, if you lay your hand on your eye, you just go on the floor. Boom. That's it. As if that is anything great. We've turned into, you know, objects of the of, of the theatrics, the of the show, of the, you know. When your hands are given work to do, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall they cast, shall out, cast devils. out devils. They shall lay their hands. It didn't the say sick. they shall pray the for the sick. sick. Shall recover. It did not say they shall pray for the sick. Mm. No. He said they shall lay their hands on the sick in my name. Not pray for the sick. It's just imagine. That's what the Lord Jesus said. Lay your hand on the sick in his name. The sick will recover. Mm -hmm. And you stand there praying for two hours. Read the scriptures, brethren. See what the work has been given to you. Amen. To do. Because that resurrection power that dwells in you, you can't be killed with poison. If somebody trying to kill you, put poison in your food, they'll be shocked the next day to see you walking around singing hallelujah. Because you can't kill with poison the child of God. You can't. Amen. You can't be bitten by a serpent and the venom touch you and make you ill. No. I know, you know, most of us from African, you know, descent are afraid of, of snakes. But the Lord Jesus Christ said serpent. 
Snakes are smaller than serpents. Yeah. They can't do any harm with the anaconda or the boa. They can't swallow you. They're under your authority. I'm not saying, you know, go around no, chasing snakes, that. you know, snake no. and I know that we saw a video recently, yeah. somebody was trying to worship the Lord to show you that the Lord is powerful by holding a snake, jumping around, and a snake, snake beat them. The venom got into them, they had to be taken to hospital. Now the question is, are they a believer or not? But we do not tempt the Lord. You don't go around, the Lord needs to go around holding snakes to show, no, he did not say that. Or bring, you know, a, a bucket of snakes during a, a gathering while we are worshipping the Lord to be playing with them. No. No, not say that. Per, per adventure, a snake would come be walking around like, like one that beat Paul. And everybody say, oh, this guy's been beaten by a snake, he's going to die. And he didn't. And they thought it was a, some sort of spirit. Or because nothing happened to him. That's exactly what the Lord was saying. Mm. Because of that resurrection power that we, we, we carry. Because the Holy Spirit dwells in our bodies. We are the temple. He is comfortable living in that. So the resurrection here, we're talking about, we're looking at the, the changes that's happening. But before the change happens, the body is reconstructed to its uh, original state. And after that, because you're back into to, to the earth, when you resurrect, you come back out to the earth, into the earth, into this planet. In this planet, the soul was not designed to live in it because it's not conducive for the soul. The soul doesn't die. The body does. Dust you are to dust you shall return. That is speaking to the body. The soul, the Lord God created it with his own material. The body was created with the earth. But the soul was not created with anything here, material. was created from, from the divine uh, content, material content. That's why the soul doesn't die from, doesn't, it's not susceptible to the element of, of the earth. So when the body dies, the soul can't stay here because it can't live here. It's not designed to live on this planet out of, outside the body. It has to go somewhere. Okay. And the Lord has predetermined where the soul must go. Mm -hmm. A child of God dies, goes into paradise. Mm -hmm. An unbeliever, unbelieving, rebellious, stubborn, goes into Hades, awaiting the judgment of the white throne. Amen. The child of God sleeps in Christ, into, goes into paradise, awaits the second coming. Mm. And afterwards, those who miss the second coming, who die as martyrs, who await the third coming. Mm. By the resurrection, your body is given back to you in its full state. Mm -hmm. No sickness in it, whatever killed it won't, won't be in there. Mm. You'll be fully bodied, you know. Well, okay. but it will still be a corruptible body. It still will be a mortal body. That's why the transformation has to yeah. take place. It's corruptible. Give room. To give, give way to the incorruptible, incorruptible and the mortal to give way to the mortal. mortal. Hence the concept of new wine into new wine skin. Mm. Amen. So now we're fully changed. That body that has been transformed, you can't kill it. Hallelujah. It's beyond <laughs> destruction. Mm. Impervious to weapon. You can you can drop the atomic bomb on it. And afterwards, you won't even see, see a speck of dust on it. You'll be standing there thinking, are, are you done? You finished? Have you got any more? Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. It does need oxygen. Imagine we'll be ascending through all the different atmosphere, all the different layers mm -hmm. to go into heaven. You'll cross all through, all through the different planets to go into heaven. No astronaut suit or no, that's not needed. <laughs> or oxygen tank. No. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. You know? Amen. And this is what we've been promised, brethren. We really need to get excited about these things. Mm -hmm. The reason why sometimes we're focusing on the, the our, our little troubles in this life, all this, all that, oh Lord, see this, Lord, see that, because we, lo we lose sight momentarily of what glory awaits us. Mm -hmm. Just imagine that you're sitting there and you speak to the, to the Holy Spirit face to face. I mean, just think about that for a second. Oh, yeah. yeah, the mighty Holy Spirit. You're having a conversation with him. Mm -hmm. And you're walking down, and, you know, it's an incredible street in, the, in heaven. And it's like, can you sit on this lovely bench and have a picnic? We think God is some sort of a distant being who does like people getting close to him and that's not the God that we say. The scripture doesn't, doesn't show that. Our God is a lover. He lacks contact a lot. That's how God is. What do you think is going on through all this trouble to try and get our attention? Because he's love sick. That's how God is. The Lord God has no need for anything at all. Only one thing God needs is your love and mine. The only thing God needs is our worship. It doesn't need anything else. So when we don't worship the Lord God, He fills that void. He complains about it. So you won't satisfy the Lord God Really? With your attention? Considering all that he has done for you? Only if he does give you what you want, answer your prayer, then he's your God, then you give him thanks and give him praise. But then, once you have all your requests, what then? What happens? He's giving you everything, then what do you do after that? Amen. We should be hypocritical towards God. He, he, he desires truth from the inside. Mm -hmm. you know, we need to love Him first, seek Him first. All other things will be added. Will be added unto you, mm -hmm. unto us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Joseph the Apostle Worshipper. Thank God for mm -hmm. His Word, and um, and I want us to. Remember this, that the 666, whatever is going on in this world, mm. don't join the group of Christians that will say it's, lead, it's the mark of CCC. Mm. It's leading to the mark of CCC. It's a way to open up mm. for the mark of CCC. Mm. It doesn't have to go that way. The Lord will show up the way the Bible says. Mm -hmm. So if we want to know anything that is confirmed, using to us what we need to reference to is god's Amen. word Amen. let it be our standpoint mm. yeah. let us not go with the word what they're saying oh this is the mark of this is coming out of this now oh it's gonna we can buy we can eat be rest assured sure. as a child of god the first point is to go with the lord meet the lord in the air you're not going to experience all that yeah and that and the the, the reign of satan of the dragon and mm. the beast will not happen at this stage it will happen after the second coming because mm. that's the event before the third before coming. the third coming mm. so the 666 the the knowledge of it is around yeah the, the, you can see what the devil are trying to do because the devil uses fear distortion distortion that's right of god's word god's word yeah one thing is to be to don't be sure. for it yeah the holy spirit doesn't give fear yeah if it's uh, if he's giving a warning it won't give you fear equips you with knowledge so that you know how to behave how mm. to act not for you to be fearful that's not how god works it doesn't give anybody fear he the says fear not he said fear not says, exactly fear not. fear not so what people are talking about as to oh uh the vaccine or this is a way to introduce 5g the, you know, yeah to introduce the it is absolute rubbish really this absolute destruction 
and distortion. The word of God doesn't tell us that's the method it's going to be used. It's quite clear. Have you seen the dragon and the beast yet? For you to talk about 6-6. Six, six. The spirit of the Antichrist is around. The spirit of the Antichrist, meaning the, the attributes, the mode of thinking, the application of, of rules that are contrary to the will of God and behaviors are apparent in our lives currently. And those are associated with Antichrist. And one of the key elements in establishing the, 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 the occurrence of the Antichrist spirit is denying that Christ Jesus came in the flesh. Now, some people are saying that, they, that well, they're not an Antichrist because they have not denied that Christ came in the flesh. But in their preaching, you can see they are denying. In their teaching, they are denying Christ came in the flesh. Because Christ coming in the flesh does not stop there. What did he do what in the flesh? Come? Yeah. What, what did, did he accomplish he in the flesh? Yeah. What was finished? That's right. So if you don't go through the expanse of the counsel of the Lord in what Christ accomplished in his flesh for mankind, you are teaching the old covenant, then you're not knowledge that Christ came in the flesh to fulfill what he came to, to, to fulfill. Just being born wasn't the end of the story. So you're an enemy of the cross. If you're an enemy of the cross, you're an antichrist. Full stop. If you're cheating God's people by denying them access to the truth, instead of them following Christ, they're following you, you are an antichrist. Anyone who stands for the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ must promote Christ Jesus only you must direct people's attention to Christ Jesus not to yourself if you are directing your attention to yourself you are an antichrist because you are taking the place of Christ Jesus Amen. you're denying that he's a source of life you're saying that people must come through you to go to God and not through Christ Jesus that's what you are doing mm. it doesn't matter how large you scream mm. If you do not promote Christ Jesus by giving access to him directly by what you preach or teach, you are an, an antichrist anti because you are denying Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And there is judgment Amen. for you. Mm. Amen. You won't like it when you meet God angry. Then you will know what scary means. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Destroying lives and damaging his people. Amen. We're going to end on this note today. And uh, by the grace of God, next week we'll continue on question time. Amen. On the coming of the Lord. Because it's quite um, vast. It's, 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 vast yeah. it's quite vast. It's, and it's, we need to Lord. cover it mm. all. Amen. Asking the questions. Please, please, brethren. Mm. Write your questions. Yeah, down. we haven't seen any questions. Type yet. your questions. Any questions. There are Type prizes. Questions. You know? <laughs> we want to see it. Don't forget, there's going to be giveaway on our channel. Yeah. On our Facebook. No, and, can and, the prizes. And, and, and on our, our YouTube channel. So yeah. when you see these videos, it might not be just this one. Whatever video you've seen, you ask questions. We know you are engaging with us. Yeah. yeah? And by the Spirit of God, we'll look through the questions and then we'll answer them and we'll all learn together. Amen. Then we'll build up ourselves. So when you're singing a song, you know the part that is not correct. Yes, and you're not looking forward mm -hmm. to, to say, oh, these unbelievers who don't believe in Christ Jesus, you will see us go. Mm -hmm. They're not going to see you go. Sure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I want us to write your question down for us there's a prize and you're getting something for it because Amen. we know you spend the money to to listen and and, and it's, it's the work of the lord and Amen. we want all of us to come to a place of knowledge yes. where we all understand because the bible says a true knowledge shall the just be set free Amen. not free from kingdom of darkness from 
or that was free into their inheritance, free, mm -hmm. understanding the counsel of the Lord. Amen. That freedom that he, he gives you is, is nothing that you, you can ever think about. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Lord. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your knowledge and your wisdom. We thank you for your servant, your son, whom you have used. Oh God, we thank you, Lord, for the medium in which we've used to reach out to people all around the world. Lord God, we pray their eyes be open, oh God, that you direct them, oh God, even to see these videos in the name of Jesus. And they're not going to be connecting with us, but we connect with the spirit behind it, which is your spirit, wanting your people to grow and to know you even the more. Yes, Lord God, we pray, Father that your people's heart will be turned unto you, Lord, that as they see this video, they see with an open mind, O oh God, because they are not looking unto us, they are looking unto you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that we all be ready and prepare for your coming, O oh God. We we'll bless your name, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Stay blessed. Amen. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Stay blessed. See you soon. Bye. Bye. See you soon.